All right, time to get super comfortable with a dihybrid cross, and that means practice, practice, and more practice. So we're going to walk through a couple examples of different types of dihybrid crosses so you can master the dihybrid Punnett square. Our first example, in summer squash, white fruit is dominant over yellow fruit, and disc-shaped fruit is dominant over sphere-shaped fruit. And a farmer crosses two types of squash with a big W, little w, big D, little d genotype, and a little w, little w, little d, little d genotype. So the farmer only sells yellow disc-shaped squash. And so he wants, he keeps the rest for himself. He wants to know the percentage of squash he will end up selling. First, we determine our gametes just like any other monohybrid or dihybrid cross. So in this individual, we have four possible gametes. We have our W, D, big W, big D gamete, our big W, little d gamete, our little W, big D gamete, and our little W, little d gamete. And if you need a clear explanation of how I did this, write this out. So what's happening, we're pairing the um, every other one and then outside and inside. So this is what's going on to form the four different combinations of gametes. Let's look at the second individual. In the second individual, let's write it over here, WWDD, all lowercase. We only actually have one gamete possibility, and that is little w, little d. Because if you were to do what I just said, um, alternating and then outside, inside, they all come up with little w, little d. So that means you could actually cross out this entire bottom half of this dihybrid um, Punnett square because you don't actually need it. And this becomes super, super easy once you start filling it out. So big W, little W, big D, little D, big W, little W, little D, little D, little W, little W, big D, little D, and little W, little W, little D, little D. So now you can figure out from these genotypes the phenotypes of the squash or the predicted phenotypes of the squash. And you have, you're looking for yellow disc shaped. So that means yellow is little w, disc shaped is big D. So here we have yellow disc shaped fruit, squash. And from the Punnett square, you can tell that one out of four or 25% of the farmer's fruit is predicted to have this phenotype. So the farmer knows that 25% of his fruit will be sold and he will keep 75%. So this is actually pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's practice with a little more and this time we can just use a simple letter combination. Let's say you have big A, little a, big B, little B, little A, little A, big B, big B. Again, start with your gametes. So first individual, four different gamete possibilities. You could have big A, big B, big A, little B, little A, big B, little A, little B. Again, doing the alternating outside-inside gamete combinations. For this individual, once again, you only have one type of gamete, and that is little a, big B, because that's the only combination that this has. So you can completely ignore this and fill it out. Big A, little a, big B, big B. Big A, little a, big B, little B. Little a, little a, big B, big B. Little a, little a, big B, little B. Piece of cake. Okay, you can practice more with simple letter combinations, and here are a few to try yourself on your own. I'm not going to walk you through them. Um, you can do little a, little a, big B, little B by big A, big A, big B, little B, and big A, big A, big B, little B, big A, little A, little B, little B. 
So remember, look for the gametes first, then fill out the top and the side columns, and then you can just fill in the Punnett square.